I give you a very very simple trick to identify as to which equation is named as what. So what you have to do is always look at the first and the last letter of the equation. So let us see here. First letter is V and the last letter is S. V means velocity, S means either distance or displacement. That means this gives us the relation between velocity and displacement. Let us see which option has it. Speed and velocity, no. Distance and acceleration, no. Displacement and velocity. So we can either call it as a displacement velocity relation or velocity displacement relation. That means the correct answer is C that is displacement and velocity. So pause the video right here and try to identify over here as to which equation gives the relation between displacement and time. Done? I hope you found the answer and the answer is C that is S is equal to ut plus half at square which is the second equation. First letter S, displacement, last letter T that is time. Next question. The force necessary to cause an acceleration of 1 meter per second square in an object of mass 1 kg. We know the formula, right? 1 Newton is equal to 1 meter per second square into 1 kg or 1 kg into 1 meter per second square. Next question. Dash is an example of positive acceleration. We know positive acceleration means the velocity has to increase. A stone is thrown vertically upwards. When we throw something in the upward direction, its velocity keeps on decreasing. A stone falls freely towards the earth. Yes, when it falls freely towards the earth, its velocity keeps on increasing. So the correct answer is a stone falls freely towards the earth. Brakes are applied. We know when we apply brakes, velocity decreases. Train arriving at the station will have to reduce its speed so that it actually stands or actually comes to rest at the station. Next question. Even if the displacement of an object is zero, the actual distance traveled might not be zero, right? So the answer will be may not be zero.